Hey, what is up everyone? Um, it's James here. Uh, I run communications and content for Zeitgeist and we have so many exciting things coming up this year. The prediction markets and Futaki protocol on Kusama. But uh, I also run, not run, I sort of oversee um, as a side hustle, if you like, South Africa and Africa's largest crypto news website called Global Crypto TV. So globalcrypto.tv, you can check that out. If you want to get involved, help out and support it, I'd absolutely love that. DM me if you want to find out more. That would be amazing. We need some support. Um, and I can explain to you how we can get some support. If you DM me, that'll be great uh, over in the comments. Anyway, besides that, I'm making this video because a lot of people have had similar trouble to me in... Uh, holding some remark tokens and they want to utilize them, whether it's leveraging them, um, putting them up into a liquidity pool, maybe spending them on an exchange, whatever the case is. So if you were like me, you bought yourself a Canary egg in the early stages of uh, remarks um, fundraising round, um, what this was their, one of their ways of raising funds, um, you would have had some remark tokens airdrop to you on your uh, KSM address. Uh, please don't laugh at the egg. I know it should be a canary bird right now. I forgot to emote it uh, and here I am. So I could have got more remark, but nonetheless, I still have some remark tokens. So I'm going to show you how to do this. I've looked on YouTube. There wasn't a lot of material besides obviously the founder of remark, Bruno's great tutorials. Uh, but that was just sort of showing basic transferability. Um, we're going to do a dedicated video here to transfer your remark tokens to KuCoin. That's what I'm doing in this video. So we're going to try and get that done. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that your state mine has a bit of KSM in it, your state mine uh, account, because over on KuCoin, which is here, your KuCoin um address needs to have some state mine based KSM. Obviously state mine is a chain, uh, a parachain of Kusama. State mine is a separate parachain of Kusama, not the Kusama based chain itself. And it has its own uh, blockchain. So you'll see if you try and deposit some remark to your Qcoin address. All right, we hit uh, deposit. And we hit remark. It'll give you a warning saying you need at least 0 0.005 KSM via state mine, right? Before sending remark tokens. So I'm going to show you how to do that first. All right, so we've got our address there, and we're going to head on over to polkadot.js.org. Make sure your same wallet with the remark tokens is connected there, which will be this one. So on singular.remark, you can see I have a fair amount of remark, which is great. I'm really um, excited about that um, and you can then on, with the same polka dot address or substrate based address you can move on over to Kusama because that's where my KSM is it depends on where you have KSM you might have to buy some send it over which makes it a little bit complicated but um, we could if you want to find out more you can hit me up in the YouTube comments but my KSM is sitting on Kusama at the moment so I'm going to teleport some KSM over to StateMine. Okay, so you got, you can see I've got 0 0.036 KSM. I'm just going to double check if I have some already on StateMine because I don't want to overspend. Let's have a look what I what it's reading. Yeah, 0 0.006, and you you need 0 0.005 technically on both sides. So I probably need to up that a little bit. So I'm going to send from the Kusama chain, teleport it across to the state mine chain. It's the same asset, KSM, but I'm bridging it across parachains from Kusama to state mine. And that's because the reason for that is Remarks token is based on the state mine parachain. They didn't connect as their own parachain. They minted their asset on the state mine parachain, um, which is a common good parachain on Kusama, which uh, can be explained later. Right, so we're going to move some, we're gonna, I'm going to send point zero 0.02 over. You hit accounts and you hit teleport. So I'm on Kusama, right? And I'm sending it over. The destination chain is state mine. It's the same address, right? So this is a bridging. We are teleporting it from my Kusama-based address to my state mine-based address. And we're going to go point zero 
two. Uh, I've already got zero six, I think it is. So maybe point zero zero four. Now we'll just do zero one again. Uh, it should be enough. No, let's do zero two. Don't want it rather than too much than too little. And you hit teleport. So we make sure it's the same thing. You sign and submit. It's going to ask you for your password, which I already entered. Your polkadot.js wallet will ask for um, a signature of the transaction, which I'm doing. We wait for it to broadcast, and there we go. Done. Now I head back over to StateMine, and after a few fees, I should have a little bit more um, KSM in this address. And it's still showing 0 0.0069, which ain't great. Uh, we probably need to give it a bit of time, I guess. Transfer, available. But unfortunate that it's only showing that much. Why are you only showing that much? Can I refresh you? Ah, there we go. Point zero two two. There we go. I'm very happy with that. Now I'm going to send over point zero one KSM over to my KuCoin address, which is here. So now. We're going to transfer, we're going to send 0 0.01, not to this address. My send from address is my KSM address, my personal KSM address. And we're going to send it there. Okay. 0 0.01. Just confirm it is the correct address. GVPLNM, GVPLNM, and L3XKCU, L3XKCU, boom, boom, happy, happy, and make the transfer. Sign and submit. Same thing, sign a transaction. And then give it a bit of time. And we all obviously want to give it time to read as well to make sure that that um, transaction has gone through and that the Qcoin. Um, state mine based address is picking up that transaction and picking up that 0 0.01 KSM that I've sent across. And I've sent, there we go, it's gone through. And I've sent a bit more just to, um, to uh, account for any fees. You know, it's always, you've got to make sure that you account for your fees. So now we're just going to copy this address and we're going to head on over to the state scan Block Explorer, which is um, the Block Explorer for StateMine, the common good parachain. And we just search the address, and there it is, it's already in. 0 0.01 KSM is in my remark address. So now both wallets are initialized. I can now send my remark tokens over. So we go, so we're on StateMine, right? On the polkadot.js interface, on StateMine, we head on over to Network Assets. Okay. Got that network assets. Now you go to balances. No accounts with balances found for the asset. Watch because I didn't uh, click on an asset yet. So you click up there, you see poker dog. You click up there and you look for a mark. And you can see there are my remark tokens. So I'm going to send those over to. that address. I think I'm going to send just for now. I'll send 15 just to be safe. Right, so we double check that address again. GVPLNM, GVPLNM, L3XKCU, L3XKCU. Done. And send, sign and submit, sign the transaction. Let me just give it a bit of time. You can see the amount has been reduced. And there we go. Now we can see how long it takes for this deposit to reflect, or I could check the address again. Let's 
So I've gone over to state scan and there we go. It's picking up 15 remark just like that. It's not giving me a deposit notification yet, but you'll probably find that it's already in before that it's probably faster than the notification interface and, and system. Okay, nope, it's not. All right, well, I'm not too stressed because obviously, as I say, the state mine block explorer is reading that the transfer has gone through although it hasn't been approved Deposit and withdrawal history, and there we go. So it is processing that transaction. 15 remark tokens on the way, and that's how you do it. And then, of course, you should know from there you need to transfer over to your trading account and uh, do it as such. So that, guys, is how you get your airdropped remark tokens onto Qcoin. Uh, you can also send them over to Karura, which is amazing as well. I've been playing around with the uh, Karura app. Um, at the moment, what I am hearing is that uh, Remark want to um, connect their, uh, they want to transfer assets from StateMind to the Karura uh, parachain, which I will confirm later. But if you check on over in, um, over at uh, singular.remark.app, you can actually see the various parachains that can host remark assets. So the StateMind parachain, the Bifrost parachain, and the Karura parachain. And then on Karura, you can bridge your tokens from StateMind to the Karura chain. You can do a whole bunch of cool stuff. So uh, check that out and good luck, man. I hope that this has been helpful. And if you have any questions, ask in the comments below. I'd be absolutely happy to help you out if I can, or at least point you in the right direction. And uh, good luck, all the best, and let's keep this Polkadot and Kusama ecosystem rocking. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.